Hello everyone, this is ASMRF today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you this type of login user or user login page UI design. So how to do this one easily. So I'll show you this process. So what I have done, let's see if I collapse the group. Okay. At first I'm turning off here uh, the background I just got a background and then I use a gradient from here the gradient was like that and I'll give you the color code like that so I can copy that and here the number one color and okay number two color is like this i'm just copying and pasting for you guys and i'll give you that color code in my video description so here okay and i'm copying this one okay that's fine the first gradient was like that and then what i have done so this one here i just here uh, I'm turning off all the things like this. So I got a shape some shapes and here the image uh, This one is the square shape and I added some drop shadow and other stuff and then I added a uh, shapes that is the round rectangle one and number two round rectangle and one and another round rectangle and a small round rectangle so if I turn it off here and this one was the round rectangles and if i make it group yeah that's good and here i clipped that clipping mask used and then the text here the username password and here the forgot username password and here the login one and here i used another shape this one and the boxes and icons like that so i'll give you the icon download link and other stuff so this one is easy to make this type of like a login page so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first go to the file and open up take a new options and i'll take that is a 25 16 14 40 the resolution is 200 pixel per inch and hit the create button you'll get a white background and then i take a gradient so go to the adjustment layer and go to the gradient color so take this gradient and suppose i just take this one and hit ok after that make it 45 degree so minus 45 actually so you can control this out so then i'll add three colors over here so this color was like that i just copied the color code this one is first this copy and i'll paste this one and okay and i'll take another layer or another color over here so i'll take another color that is this one copy and just paste over here and hook okay and now i will take this one that is the blue one so copy and just paste a double click over here you will get the color code options and copy this one and paste this one and hit okay and hit okay and i'll make it reverse and i'll adjust this one like that if you need you can control the other stops like this so select here and you can adjust this and hit okay so hit okay after that i'll take a shape that is the rectangle shape so go to the rectangle tool and take a shape like that so that's good and here i'll make it a little bit round type so here the pixels that is the round so select this one and then around that so you can choose the color i'll make it like white color so that's fine and if you need you can make the changes of the shape so uh, it was like that so select over here and hit ok and after that right press and blending options from here i'll use a drop shadow so drop shadow setting will be like that the blending mode is multiply and opacity 70 percent and angle is 118 degree and the distance 17 and spread like uh, 8 and size 17 and here i use this one first one the quality and hit ok so you got a uh, drop shadow in this portion so after that i'll use the round rectangle go to the 
round rectangle tool and use round rectangle like that and make the round rectangle that is like round so that is white color i'll use here gradient so right press blending options and go to the gradient overlay so gradient overlay settings will be like that so i'll take the color the same color code ec13105 and i'll give you that link or color code link in my video description and hit ok and hit ok again and press ctrl t and press the shift button and rotate this one in a 45 degree angle 135 so if you can make it bigger like that so hit ok and press this one so if you need to change the angle or direction you have to go to the gradient overlay option and make it reverse it will be like that so you can make it like this and hit ok and after that press alter button and like copy this one and copy over here and here a little bit so i'll change this one press ctrl t and make it smaller like that so you can add this one like that so i want to make it like clipping mask so make it all the things in a group those are the round rectangle round so right press and you have to make it clipping mask so how to make it clipping mask you can make clipping mask one by one so i'll make it here so i take this one in a group so after that this one is our shape i'll drag it in the last and then i'll make it right press and create clipping mask one this one and another one create clipping mask second one and right create clipping mask and then create clipping mask so you are getting this one so you can change it out and you can make it like this so that's fine and i'll change the direction of this so what i have to do this one is and go to the blending options and gradient overlay and you can change the direction like this so i'll make it like that okay and that's fine and i want to change direction of this rectangle round rectangle you go to the gradient overlay options and make it reverse like this so you can make it yeah that's fine and hit okay so you're getting this portion here so after that if you want to change the direction of the gradient go to the gradient overlay and you can make it like this oh that's fine and now i'll add here the username other stops so before that i'll go to the flat icon icon is a website you can download the icons and other stuff so i downloaded that icon so i'll go to the file and open up here avatar one and two so this one is the man sign and go to the file and open and here is the settings that is the password option so i'll take this one and drag it and drop over here i'll change the size later so i'll take this one at first in this window and i'll work with that so press ctrl g and i'll take the group the outside of this group so not in this group so i'll take this one outside of the group so this one as well and those are i'll make this one again the creating clipping mask otherwise it will be the outside of the window so this one is our round rectangle so here and the screen as well and here is our the shape so i'll select these two shapes and align them in a middle like that and press ctrl t and make it smaller like that so yeah that's good and hit ok so i'll go to here the shapes and this one i'll just take this one in a downside yeah that's good so another one is this one this one and this one so first one this one is user and that is the password so here so i'll turn and give the name icon so i'll turn it off and i'll use that later so before that i'll add a rectangle here that is like this so i'll give the color of this rectangle so i have to make this rectangle outside of the group so here i'll take this one upper side yeah that's good and change the color a little bit ash color so that's good and if you want you can just here properties 
so properties go to the window and you will find out the properties so here is the properties and you can make it a little bit rectangle a little bit round yeah that's good yeah that's fine and if you need you can change the color like this yeah that's good and then press ctrl j so and drag it in a downside and yeah make it like that and press ctrl j again and drag it in the downside so if you want to make them in a proper alignment select these three things and here is the portion in a separate or uh, distance between three lines or three boxes so this one i'll make it more like so not this one so i have to make this one that means this rectangle so login page and i'll go to the properties again and i'll make it more round like that yeah that's fine and right press and blending options and i'll make it gradient overlay so select the gradient overlay like that and make the angle that is a 45 degree actually minus 45 is good and you can drag the gradient like this so you can choose the gradient from here so hit ok and make it reverse like that but you have to change the angle like this so that's fine zero zero is good yeah and hit okay so i'll write down here login so and here i'll write down something so go to the text tool at first and select here and write down username so user login so i'll make the color that is the like a little bit ash color yeah that's fine and login so i'll change the font size that is 14 or 16 is good and change the mode that is the bold corporate or i'll make this one like black of the here so hit the tick button and i'll change it i'll take this one in middle of the box so that's fine and here user login i'll take this one in a upper side that's good and here i'll choose here and now i'll turn on the icons so i'll take the icons here so you have to take the icon in a upper side of the group this one so that's good so this one this one and this one okay this one is our icon and i'll replace this icon here press here and here this one and this icon as well so this one is not our icon you have to select the icon properly so here the icon password so we'll take the icon of the password in this portion and the user portion in this area so i'll change the size of this so this one press ctrl t and here the height and weight so link up this one select this link and i'll make it 50 yeah that's good and it's smaller and now this one password as well press ctrl t and click the link and make it 50 so this one is nice and now here this one and this one is related password so i'll make these two things in a group so this one and this one so i'll make it group and give the name password so and i'll select these two layers and make them in an alignment that's good and this rectangle and this rectangle those are in one group so i'll select these two things and make them an alignment like that so i'll make another group that is the user that's fine so user login this one is the upper side of all the things and now rest of the thing will be like that so password this one and i'll write down here go to the text here that means this one is the password and this one is the password group and i'll select here and write down okay i'll select this and i'll make this one seven yeah that's good and change the 
font like light and actually i'll give it in r it is good yeah hit the tick button and same thing and same thing i'll copy so i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and i'll take this one in user so i'll just use the move tool to take this one here so i'll give or change the name the okay username so that's fine so i'll take this one in a middle so this one and this rectangle so select these two things and make it in a middle so password and this rectangle so select this one and this one in a middle okay that's fine and now the password this one i have done and the user i have done so that's fine so independently those are the related with that so now rest of the thing is this so this one is login so go to the text tool and write here and login okay i'll select this and change this one to like regular and change the color of the text that is the white color and press the move tool and i'll just make it in like that so here so here uh, i'll select these two layers and make it in a middle alignment so i'll write down something in the uh, bottom side of this one so take, go to the text tool again and write down something forward so before that you have to change the color so like that forgot password or username so that's fine and i'll align them here is the small pink icon or line that is just um, showing you or ensuring you that is the middle of this all aligned so that's fine and now i'll write down something here so here the login page and forgot password these are the things and for the password press ctrl j and i'll take this one in the lower portion of the window and i'll write down something that is the sign up sign up or create new account so i'll use a arrow key that is indicating that you are going to the next window or next level so our design is ready hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and this one is a ui of the login page it could be the web ui or it could be the apps ui whatever you can use that but you have to or you can follow my steps and it will be more creative like that and more colorful and simple and the minimalistic so if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell again for the new amazing tutorials the photoshop and other stuffs and photo editing so until the next video i am is signing out today bye bye